everybody that works with Curator is familiar with the idea that a rule triggers, contributes, fires offenses. And that's the main role that Curator has. And that is because in the rules editor this check mark is actually selected. In fact, let me show you that in the actual curator. If you go into any one of the rules and you edit it on the wizard, this is, you go to the second page and here is that check mark. UBA rules work in a different way. UBA rule add risk to an individual. They do not fire offenses on themselves. And how does Curator know what an individual is? In the logs, all Curator sees are user IDs, but the UBA tool can optionally connect to your LDAP and extract from the LDAP all the user IDs for every individual. And that's how it can add that risk uh, to the individual itself. But you will notice in any of the UBA rules that checkbox is unselected, meaning they don't fire rules. They are meant to add risk. How do they do that? If we look at any of the UBA rules, on the second page is at the test condition. Again, on the second page, as I mentioned before, this is unchecked. And this is the key. It dispatches an event which begins in the event description with the word sense value equals and then 15. This is the 15 points of risk that are going to be added to whoever individual did this whenever this rule triggers or fires. And that's how it does it. And, and it's important to know that if you have any other rule that you want it to contribute to UBA and it's not part of the UBA rules, all you have to do is dispatch a new event and put in the event description the word sense value equal and then whatever is and that would add that risk to whatever user ID was uh, part uh, of that offense. It's that easy. But you might be wondering then how do I get to know when a guy's uh, risk is actually way too big? Well, in the UBA settings under the UBA setting in the admin tab under UBA setting icon there is a field called risk threshold to trigger offenses. In fact, let's actually see that. And, and here you put that value. Whether it's a thousand good for your company, ten thousand, you don't know. You need to let let UBA work for a while to see what is the normal risk that every individual brings to the company and see where you set your threshold. But when this threshold is exceeded, then you get an offense that fires that invites you to go into the UBA GUI to investigate what the heck is this guy doing. It's also this decay factor is, I call it, the rate of forgiving. I mean, this is uh, how much uh, a particular risk decays over time. Not because you did something stupid once in life, you're going to be called stupid all your life. But that things tend to be uh, forgiven over time. And that's the percentage value. What's the right value? Again, that's something that you need to judge for yourself in, in your company. Then to tune your UBA besides this parameters that we mentioned in here besides the configuration of the LDAP and of course you, you really need to have an app node to get UBA working with a decent number of, of users you need to f do additional steps first you need to understand each and every one of the very many rules that UBA has to decide which of them you want to have enabled or disabled and there are very many of them and you need to look what's pertinent in your in your company and whether you have the log sources that will allow this rule to actually fire and you actually need to look at every one rule to decide for yourself so another important task many of these rules work with reference sets some of them the tool populate itself but very many you need to populate yourself you need to help the tool like for example Telling the tool which are the unsecure protocols you don't want to see in your company. Who are the executives in your company? Because they are rules that, you know, works for those guys uh, to protect them better. 
uh, what are your critical assets? What is my, you know, accounts payable? You know, whatever it is that is that I consider critical. You, it doesn't know. You need to tell that by putting entries into those reference sets. And where are those reference sets and to which tools are they related? Uh, you'll see in a moment. And, and also, uh, there is a problem with the power and the huge amount of rules that UBA has and the dependencies. There are some UBA tools that not only depends on uh, reference sets to be populated, but also on other apps like DNS Analyzer, etc. And, and this, to look at every one of them individually, it's kind of hard because there are way too many. Why are you going to look at them alphabetically? I mean, wouldn't you want to sort them in, in ways that uh, might be better? And that's the purpose of this video. I'm delighted to uh, let you know that in UBA 3.0, there is this fantastic uh, panel that is called Rules and Tuning. It's on the first page of the UBA tool that allows you to do things like, for example, look at every one of the rules and I can sort them by which of them have to do with geography. Oh, these are the ones. Uh, what which dependency has on, on reference set? Oh, here are the actual reference set. Oh, I want to actually see how the tool actually works. Well, I can actually edit the tool from in here and see how the actual tool works and understand the logic of it. Uh, I can do additional sorting. I can see well, which of them are, you know, 5 points, 10 point, 15 point of uh, risk scores. Uh, which are the ones that requires reference set, for example? Uh, which are the ones that uh, that have dependencies? You know, which of them are disabled? Uh, you know, which of them are not? And you can combine, as you have are seen here, you can combine uh, those uh, searching criteria for the sorting, and then you can look uh, look for yourself. For example, if I want to see all the ones that uh, requires reference set. I just let me uncheck the geography here and I'll see all the ones that have references. So great way of actually helping you with the task of tuning all the intelligence that UVA has to work specifically for your environment, which only you know the details of.